so Tiffany, we're going to pretend that it's just me and you. And this, <laughs> okay. a little bit of, this is going to be a little bit of speed coaching. And I'm, I'm going to ask everyone who is with us and on this recording that they keep this confidential and, and have this space for you as a client. Um, I will also stay in the MCC role. This is not a mentor session, but I would love to see in our kind of speed session, let's maybe try to go for like 10 minutes. I know that's quick. Um, what would you like to focus on? I would like to focus on um, when I'm coaching clients, I am a different person when I'm recording. And I even had somebody say, you know, I'm going to need you to stop recording. Um, and, and so it completely changed when I said, fine, I'm going to record, but I'm not going to try to hit all the check marks. I'm going to just have a conversation. And when I reframed it for myself, as a coaching conversation, um, it just completely changed the relationship I had with that person and how it went. Amazing so, awareness and response. Like you made a change yeah. quickly. Yeah, but I don't know why. Like, so I'm pretty sure those calls won't pass. So I'm going to need a call that will pass and I need to be comfortable. So there's some block that I have when I know I'm being recorded. Like I could tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Like I could feel the difference too. Okay. So you, you can feel and tell the difference. It sounds like at least one of your clients can feel and tell the difference as well. So in our mini session, what do you want to walk away with? I would like a little more clarity on at least what rabbit hole I could dig down into to figure out what the heck's going on. Okay. So what I'm hearing is you, it sounds like you feel like if you could figure out why it's happening, that that would help you address it. Yeah. Okay. And there's even some relief there as you say that. Yeah. Cause I feel like the way that you reframed that just helped me to feel seen. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Yeah. Thank you. So if you had that clarity, what would that give you? That would give me, that would give me a, a clear way forward so that I could be the coach I need to be and be the ICF coach I need to be by recording these sessions. So what I'm hearing and try this on if it fits, if you want to. There's almost like, well, there's the Tiffany who's who she's supposed to be, and I'm not sure how to get to her. Yeah, yeah. I want to blend like me and the one I'm supposed to be for ICF recordings. What if you didn't need to supposed to be anybody? It's so freeing if I don't need to supposed to be. Like, okay. that's the best. Those are the best sessions. Okay. So how does, do, do you have a name for her? Is it just Tiffany? Oh, my, uh, my other self, my supposed to be self. No, not supposed to be the, the Tiffany who's not supposed to be. Uh, could she just be Tiffany? Totally. Okay. So okay. Tiffany, who has this different kind of energy, who's seen this level of connection how does Tiffany feel about recording? Tiffany feels like it takes the magic out of it. Okay. Ooh. It puts the pressure on. Okay. All pressure, no magic. Okay. All so, pressure, no magic. That's what's yeah. happening. All pressure, no magic. What if there was magic? Then it will feel good from like the head to the toes. Okay. So where do you want to go, Tiffany, feeling good from the head to the toes? I want I want to be able to always feel that way when I go into a session. Okay. So I don't want to I don't want to pick up the pressure. I don't know like why it's sitting down on the road on the way there, but it need, I want to not pick it up. And it does sound like at least some if not all of the pressure is embodied in the recording. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm noticing it showing up in other ways too. So mostly 
I could see it showing up during the recordings. Um, somebody, somebody admitted to being a coach. Somebody I was coaching admitted to being a coach. And then my head went and the pressure came there. So there's something about the judgment that I feel like, or that could be judged that I think I get in my head. Okay. Well, and this may not be where you want to go today in our time, but I want to acknowledge that there are likely judgments and things that you are facing, battling that may be coming up for you right now. Yeah, a lot of judgment. So I guess if I'm just going to be judged, how do I want to show up for that? You're going to make me answer that question because I just <laughs> asked it. I mean, it was a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I I want it to not even be like, uh, I want to not even care. I want to not even like, like, well, I guess I might have to acknowledge it. But if I picked it up, I want to put it back down quickly. Mm. Okay. And what would change for you if you didn't care about the judgment? Oh, man, I would be so much more powerful because that's one less thing stopping me. I feel that. Yeah, that was kind of goosebumpy right there because that's I a mean- word. Whether or not it was head to toes, I feel that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. What are you learning about yourself in this session? I am learning that I think I'm arriving at the idea that I'm giving away my power by focusing on that judgment. Like even the hinted judge, like nobody even tell me they're judging except for when I record for ICF. Then, um, so immediately I just like give away the power. Well, I'm also hearing a kind of preventative or proactive. I don't know if it's a protection against the judgment. So, So while you're saying you give away your power, what comes to mind to me is, is there benefit of you shielding or protecting yourself from that judgment? I am a fan of the new Wonder Woman when she hands up her bracelets and she's like knocking the stuff away. Yeah. So I could picture myself like, oh, wait, it's happening. And just be doing like, I do all my coaching on calls so I could hear more deeply. So I could always just be like walking around the room like this. You might need some bracelets. That's a good excuse to shop. (laughs) So there's a lot here for you. Yes. Giving away power, head to the toes, judgment, being judged, you know, who you could be magic. What would you like to try? What do you mean by that? So because this is a speed session and we don't have as much time to explore, is there anything you would want to try or implement? Yes. What came to mind is um, a line based on my favorite TV show. Um, And I'm just going to like bottom line it to say, I want to let Tiffany be Tiffany. And so, yes. Uh, I might need to get the picture of Wonder Woman doing that thing or put the gif up and like be coaching with that in the background. I might need that. Um, But I'm going to try when I notice that happening, like try to breathe it out, release it and just let me be me. Yeah. How does that feel? It's freeing. Thank you. Absolutely. What are you taking away from our time? I am taking away that it's okay to be me. Like, I think that's where the judgment, fear, struggle is coming from. 
It's like, what if I'm not good enough? But doesn't matter what anybody thinks. I think I am. And so I get to be me. Thank you, Tiffany. I so appreciate you. Thank yes. You.